farm life starts early. We get up typically around six in the morning and my first stop every day is out in the barn. I want to see the horses. I want to see how they made it through the night and I really look forward to the opportunity to spend time with them. One morning I had a mare that was with foal and she wasn't due for a couple of weeks and uh, lo and behold in the course of the last hour or two she had given birth to a little colt and the colt was already cleaned up and taking its first steps by the time I was in the barn and that was special to us. My name's Sean O'Brien. My wife and I started Celtic Ridge Farm about 20 years ago. Bought some property and built a barn. That The idea was to kind of create a different environment for the kids growing up that was a little simpler than what we were used to. About 10 years ago, our local sheriff pulled up the driveway one day and asked if we would take in a horse as a foster parent for a couple of weeks because another family had the horse and couldn't afford to care for it. The horse we started calling Nick and eventually I reached the point where I could go ahead and put a saddle on him and realized right away that he was different than the other horses that I was used to. And this horse had a fourth gear that was real interesting to me. It was very smooth and yet fast. So I started doing some research and found out that these horses were originally from the Appalachia region. So my wife and I made a trip down to Kentucky and spent a week or so at some of the horse farms down there that had this particular breed, and they're known as Rocky Mountain horses. We ended up finding a few breeders and studying the uh, bloodlines and purchased a stallion and, and some mares and a, a couple of riding horses with the intent being to build this breed up here in Michigan. Everybody has their passion. It could be golf, it could be hunting. For us, it's become our farm and the horses in particular. I always come back to the same thing. It doesn't matter what I'm doing. My mind always drifts back to this farm and to these animals. Uh, that's where I want to be. And it doesn't matter where I am physically, I'm always emotionally back here at this farm. I wouldn't trade places with anybody in the world.